the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Live from Ronnie Fowler Stadium, it's Jackson Christian Football. We're at Southern Capitol Field, and it's football night here in the state of Tennessee, and especially Jackson, Tennessee. Coach Joe Holloway here to do the game for you. We'll have stats from Greg Armour at halftime and post game, and you are watching on the Jackson Christian Facebook. Plus, you will be able to work with Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz on this. They are doing the uh, production of this with our great camera crew and production crew. This is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2023. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the Ball Game Blitz broadcast without written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. And uh, we are looking forward to this game. Two undefeated teams come in here. Jackson Christian off to 6-0 and start, which is their second best start in history. Jackson Christian has played tough games. Then they've had the blowouts. FACS comes in with a big win over a team we're familiar with here in West Tennessee, and that being West Carroll. And uh, what a way to win a game there, and they come in undefeated. They are speed, speed, and more speed. Speed kills. We've got speed. They've got speed. Execution, not killing drives with penalties and things like that will help. Also, the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios brings you TCA, USJ, and Peabody football games. And also, they bring you Union University home games of all sports and also Rockabilly Baseball this year and Bethel University sports have come on. Some of the advertisers are the Blacksmith, Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, Deaton's Carpet One, Elite Dental, Nest Realty, Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Southern Capital Advisors, David White Body Shop. Please support these people because you get to watch this game free. If this was a National Federation game, and you were watching the Federation broadcast were, rather than a Worthy Road broadcast, you would pay a minimum of $11.99. They don't tell you they charge taxes on that too. But this is a free broadcast thanks to those wonderful sponsors. What we're going to do is we're going to take a timeout, and when we come back after this timeout, we'll have more information on both teams and the starting lineups. Let's take that timeout. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
back at Southern Capitol Field. Coach Joe Holloway here with Jackson Christian and FACS football. Let's tell you a little bit about the two teams. The Crusaders of FACS First Assembly Christian, their mascot is a Crusader. They're from Cordova and Shelby County. They were founded in 1972, and I believe they played their first football games in 1976. Their headmaster is Brian Sanders, athletic director Robert Downing. They play in a Division II, A West Division. Their record last year was 4-7, and seven, but this is not a 4-7 and seven team. They are 5-0 and oh and much improved. Their head coach is Mitch Daniel, and he's a good one. His brother also coaches over at Christian Brothers. Offensive coordinator, as was last year, D. Allsbrook. And defensive coordinator, David Wampler. They have 14 starters returning. So they actually have more starters returning than we do. Their playoff record is 10-20 and 20 over the years. They have not had a championship in a course. Uh, Mitch McDaniel, their head coach, his uh, record, one loss record at the school is 6 and 15, but th- like I said, much improved team. And uh, he is a teacher there. He went to the University of Memphis and all of his assistants D. Allsbrook, Jeremy Moore, David Wampler, Anthony Johnson, Caleb Colin, Copeland, and Benedict Abissai. Okay, for the Eagles, their snapshot that you want the mascot, you know it, it's the Eagles. They're from good old Jackson, Tennessee, the hub city of West Tennessee and Madison County, founded in 1976, and they didn't take up football till I want to say 1986 or 87. I should know that. President is Dr. Billy Lones, athletic director Darby Palmer. We also, this is a region game in Division 2A West. Last year's record was an impressive 10-2. Head coach Darby Palmer, offensive coordinator Will Reichard, defensive coordinator Rob Phillips. We return 12 starters, only four on offense, but it's been a prolific offense, eight on defense. Playoff record for the school is 25-22. and 22. They have one championship in 2006. The assistant coaches, Alan Irvin, Will Reichard, Rob Phillips, Lewis Gillum, Brian Bullard, Josh White, Chuck Ray, Greg Armour, Chase McLean, and Avery Williamson, Coach Palmer, Went to Harding University. His high school was Valley View High School in Arkansas. He played football there. He teaches Bible and doubles as athletic director. And he is one of the nicest young men you would ever want to meet. And with that, there's what you need to know as far as backgrounds. We're going to take another short time out. And when we come back, guess what? We're going to have the starting lineups for sure. Let's take that time out on Jackson Christian's Facebook. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? 
At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we are going to come back and take a timeout. Uh, again, we need to make one adjustment. We'll be back after this. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. And we are back. I uh, had to make an adjustment. Stephanie, what a great job she always does. Stephanie Janda of producing director. We had to make a sound adjustment so you could get this game much better. We promised you the starting lineups for these two teams for FACS starting at quarterback number six. Josh Wright, he is a senior four-year starter, the swift, fast running back who is running all over everybody. Number one, Robert, or actually it's the, he's the running back, Brian Shields. And number 13 at wideout, Robert Ivey. Number two starts at wideout, J.J. Davis. The tight end is Caden Hartunian. He wears number 28. And number 24 is the wingback, Bryston Miller. On the offensive line, 66, John Ellis, 50, Offensive lineman Ty Kuntz, as number 65, Malik Williams. Number 58, Mark Thompson, and 63 is Micah Ashby. And we appreciate the help from Coach Mitchell. I uh, did, did not get a chance to check all pronunciations. My apologies if I mess one up. Now, starting for Jackson Christian, we'll give their offense also. At left tackle, 58, a 6'2", 245 sophomore, Tristan Nash. At left guard, Hudson Neubauer, 50, he wears 56, 6'0", 190, a senior. The center is Eli Gay, number 61, 5'11", 200-pound senior. The right guard, number 60, Ty Smith. 
He is a 5'10", 215-pound senior, and the right tackle is number 53, Hunter Walter. He is a 5'11", junior, 190. At running back, Deuce Lawrence, six foot tall, 180 pounds a sophomore. The quarterback, Austin Kelly, 6'2", 170, a junior. The tight end and Y and also an H back, six foot six, 240 pounds. The UT Chattanooga commit, number 85, Daniel Green. Also at wide out, number 22, Trent Carrier, six foot tall, 190, a senior. At wide out, Jack Collins, number 88, 5'8", 165, a senior. Jalen Mosley, 6'1", 190. He's a junior. He wears number 23. And you will also see number 8, Blake Rollinson, Carlos Robertson, number 4. And you will see James Dyer on offense some. And uh, we are awaiting the Jackson Christian captains. And we will pick up the captains for... FACS, you know a lot about our team. Let me give you a couple of people defensively for them to watch. And we see that number seven, Baker, the kicker, is also a captain for them. And it looks like Josh Wright. But keep an eye on zero, Charlie Goss. He uh, is a pretty good defender. Trey Wampler, who is kin to the defensive coordinator, he uh, is also good. He plays linebacker. Avon Gatlin and Naja Williams are all defenders to watch. They've got a good defense. And it looks like for us, Daniel Green, Cedric Anderson, and 48, Caleb Newsom, and the QB himself, Austin Kelly, will go out for us. Of course, Ty Smith and Eli Gay will stay back some. They are captains, but you can only send four out there. And we said Josh Wright, where they got one. They'll send Shields out there. Now, I understand that Shields missed some or part uh, or all of last year, but we remember him when he was totally a wide out. He can line up in the slot. He can line up at, as a wide out. Their offense is similar to ours. Uh, they've had a very good defense, and they come in here 5-0. and We come in 6-0. and We've had some impressive victories. They have had some, too. This is a region game, and we'll try to recognize. Did not get a chance. Usually I meet or will see and recognize most officiating crews. Did not know many of the ones last week as they were from Dyersburg. You see the captain shaking hands. You see our power aid scoreboard counting down, and we thank them. And please tell all the sponsors because anybody listening on the national federation tonight is paying or watching is paying money you get this broadcast on jackson christians facebook from worthy road studios in the ball game blitz free the options are being explained facs the crusaders will call the toss lots of cameras out there getting that our you see our man out there right there what a great shot that's our sideline camera in the middle of the field. Good job on that one. Options being explained, and you know what that means when you see the tap. Jackson Christian is going to take the football first. That's our signature move. Only once since I've been doing their games can I remember us not getting the football first. So we are just about ready for kickoff and with the field cam following everybody. FACS is making their appearance, their crowd across from us. And now you need to stand, even at home, put those hands together because you are about to see the appearance of the 6-0 and Eagles. And you can see our Eagle flag bearer out there in front dressed in red, white, and blue with the stars. In just a matter of moments, it will be football in Jackson, Tennessee. Welcome our audience. We've got some folks from FACS, I've been informed, that are going to watch this contest. There is a replay on Worthy Road Studios, and here comes the Eagles, which means it is officially football time at Southern Capitol Field in Jackson, Tennessee, in Ronnie Fowler Stadium. We are broadcasting from the Greg Armour Press Box, and we are just about ready for football. The kicker should be David Baker, the senior for FACS. 
and we will have three people with one deep, and we try to move Mosley around a little bit. He'll be wearing 23. You know that Jack Collins will be back there, and let's see if they put Easton Jones back there with them. Up people have got to be the young man. I understand David Baker has a very talented foot. Who knows, could be an onside kick coming out of him at any time tonight. They like to run the football, they being the Crusaders of FACS. Interesting move. Their quarterback, who also plays linebacker, helps cover kickoffs, but he is a deadly tackler, I've been told. And they've got some real speed on that. Trey Watts is out there. And hopefully I haven't gotten any misinformation on any of the people playing, but uh, I do appreciate Coach Mitchell and, of course, Chase McLean, Darby Palmer, Brian Bullard, whole staff pitches in here. Back deep, a two-man type return. See Jack Collins, and I see up about the 31. That looks like Jalen Mosley. Let's see if this – they'll kick it deep now. I've watched the uh, – I thought they were going to aim and try to kick – to the right, and that's the short one I was telling you about. And they've knocked us off the football, and FACS has come up with a football, a fumble recovery, and there is a penalty flagged down on the field. Zero recovered that. That's Goss. That's the guy I was telling you about. Goss with the recovery. It did, uh, did it go the required 10 yards is the catch. Did we touch it early and fumble it? Because we got knocked off the football, and FACS means serious business. They've got their offense out there. They're going to come to the sideline. They're going to pick the flag up, and uh, Jackson Christian's defense has got to hustle out on the field. I don't know if we've got a replay on that one or not. Not a good start for the Eagles. Remember, I warned you about this. They go with a slot. It's supposed to be a slot. The guy's on the line of scrimmage unless the other one steps up. There we go. Slot left. Got a wing back to the right, and now they have got shields in the slot, and they they will try to make matchups, and we're going to rotate our secondary, come up with press coverage. And we've got a deep safety. It looks like maybe Blake Rowland back there that will pick him up. They run a lot of combo routes. Now, Shields supposedly has 4-5 four, four, speed. Coach Palmer still questioning this, and I don't blame him. It was really close. But they're not, I can tell you now, these officials aren't going to change their mind. Whether they're right or wrong, I'll have to defer to them. But first possession for FACS is the Jackson Christian, 43. Well, that's not right. It's got to be the right on the 50-yard line. A tough break, and now our vaunted defense has to play. We're going with a two-deep secondary. Now they go get the signal. They tried to draw us off, and, and they'll do this. They'll mix it up. How they, they say Shields is getting the football on the jet sweep. He breaks one tackle and gets about five, six. He keeps his legs pumping. He may even have seven, depending on the spot of the football. And here comes the replay on that one. You'll see that we hit him, but we didn't hold him. A nice gain of six yards for Shields, Brian Shields. And a good tackle in the secondary, but you've got to contain him and him, him in. If he goes in motion, he will get the ball nine out of ten times on the jet sweep action. Two men in the backfield, overloaded to the right with a nasty slot. Some people call it a wing back and also another one. And they get blocking, but this time the Eagles are there and a host of them. Eli Craig, one of the men there. And here comes the replay on that one. I was also defensive back help. It may have been in the form of Blake Rowland. 
It is third down and six, so no gain on that one. Third and six. They go with extra blocking to the left, a wide out to the right. Right, your quarterback. And they'll look over. They'll act like they're going. And eventually, before the night's over, they'll quick count us and go early. And now there should be, unless they call timeout, there should be a penalty on the play. And it looks like FACS has called their first timeout. We're going to take a timeout of 30 seconds here on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will be the greatest. We are back and... Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say, here's the man in motion. It's the pitch to him. He gets outside. We hit him. Two men stand him up. Three men. Four men are there. Kai, Collins, and Craig with the tackle. It's fourth down, but they're in four down territory. Let's see, though. They're sending the kicker on, but they may try to draw us off sides because it won't make a whole lot of difference. You know the man that's going back there. One of the most feared men in the state of Tennessee. I saw a list out of Nashville that says that he is one of the 10 players to watch in the state of Tennessee. Jalen Mosley will set up about the 15, maybe a step in front. Now he's going to go a little deeper. Somewhere around the 10 is where he sets up. Baker, they've got three wide outs out there, and Baker Kicks it away from Mosley. Mosley's going to let it hit. It takes a sideways bounce, and they down it at about the 13 or 14. We may get a good spot, and they'll put it on the 15. So Jackson Christian will have it first on the 15-yard line. After losing what's normally our scoring position, Deuce Lawrence comes on at running back. Austin Kelly will be your quarterback. Jack Collins will be the wide out to the right. Mosley should be to the left. There is a wing back in motion, and we're going to run our version of the shorter jet sweep. Mosley dances. He gets across and keeps his feet moving. I don't think they'll give him the 24, but they might. They, in theory, should. That's where he got the football down to. And so Mosley, with a... Gain of nine, it'll be second and one. Some people say that gives you a down to play with. Ball's on the 24. They send Trent Carrier in motion, but he'll set up as an H-back. High snap, they give to Lawrence. Lawrence needs a block, didn't get it, and he'll lose a yard or so. That time they blew it up. They had better penetration than we did blocking that time. Let's see if we can watch this one. So a loss of about one on that one. Makes it third and two. I saw 60 over there for them. That's Kobe Harris. They come out here and send 10, who's a very good cover man, Chris Johnson for them. They've got a safety Goss leaning this way, basically the same formation. They're going to go high to Mosley. He's got a pivot, and he's going to come up short of the first down and fumbles the football, but the ground cannot cause a fumble, so that's not a fumble, but I don't believe he made his first down. Replay. Here comes the replay, and you'll see he's going to be inches short. The pass was high. He's got a break. No, he didn't get there, and the ground caused it. He was short of it. Mosley, pickup of about two on that one. It is 
Fourth and inches, the Eagle offense is on there. Will they use no play timeout and try to draw them off sides? It's a very veteran and tough offensive line or defensive line over there. Mario Johnson knows man, and they shift. They play strong side, weak side. We go strong side left. Here's the run. Deuce has got it. The Deuce bounces around, dances like a hula girl across the 30 down to about the 32-yard line for a pickup of eight yards and the initial Jackson Christian first down. Deuce now with two carries, seven yards, because he had a minus carry. Carrier and Collins will come to the right. We will have an H back and a wide out to the left. They send Collins in motion. They're going to tie the toss to him. And their linebacker's getting good penetration, and we're going to lose serious yardage on that play. They are blowing their linebackers anytime they see us do that. There will be offensive adjustments that will have to be made, but a huge loss from the 32 back to the 27. That's a little more than five. It's almost, well, it's inside the 27. So it's going to be second and about 15 and a half yards to go. Now, our wide stuff to the left are the strength of our formation. They have blown it up. And, again, it looked like 60 being one of those guys in there. We send a man in motion, not the jet sweep. We sprint, we throw, and there, oh, there's pass interference. There's got to be a flag on this. And there may be one in the backfield too. But there was definitely pass interference on Mosley. And we'll let the official sort it out. Yeah, I remember something. They're calling hold on us. Well, what about the shove on the, official, on the receiver, Mosley? Interesting call. There should have been a push on Mosley. Third and 15. Kelly now one for two. We better have a big one here or punt it away. A travesty of justice. Mosley covered. He's actually double coverage because Goss is going to cheat over here and help him. We shift. They shift. They've got four down linemen. They throw it backside. Mosley's got it, but he lost his footing for a minute, and he'll only get to about the 35, a gain of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here comes the replay on that. It's a punting situation as Zach Sisko comes on. This reminds me, unfortunately, a little bit of the first half up at Good Pasture. Other than that, we scored, though, on our first possession. Cisco to punt, and their punt returner is dangerous. You do not want to punt to Shields. He took one back either last week or the week before. Very capable. Almost blocked. Let's see if it gets a Jackson Christian roll. And they hit our punter, and he is walking off the field, but gingerly. Zach Sisko, a tough guy. He used to play soccer. And this could be a first down penalty, roughing the kicker. Blake Rowland waiting to come in. Let's see what I told you. This game will turn on things like fumbles and penalties and interceptions. It's who can execute now. They have executed their defense well to our strong side. And it looks like it's fixing to come back down here. No. Don't tell me they're picking the flag up again. We're going to keep it here because uh, folks, I, you be your own judge. We, and folks that listen from Jackson Christian, when I say it's an interesting call, now they bring the football back down here. Let's see what happens with it. Now, from the line of scrimmage is where it should be marked off. Yes, 
They only marked running into the kicker, which is five yards and makes it fourth and five or fourth and about three. Fourth and three, gutsy call here. Going up the middle and blasting through there. That looks like Easton Jones with a football. And I can tell you this right now. They're doing what they should. One man stands him up and the other folks try to rip the football out of his hands. Be first and ten. Our second first down. Quick out to Mosley. He dances, gets across the 50, and he is knocked out of bounds as number ten for them, Chris Johnson, tackles him. Strength of the formation to the left. Here's the toss. This time to Easton Jones. And again, getting out there was nine to set the corner and mess the play up. And then they had good pursuit. And a host of Crusaders got him. Nine is by Dale Cawthorn. And he stuffed that play. Minus one on it. Second and 11. Wide side. We're looking for Mosley. He's going single coverage. And this one underthrown. He would have had to come back for it. There is a flag on the play, and that usually is not a good sign. Oh, it is for Jackson Christian. Easton Jones out after getting that big first down. There may have been an illegal substitution. I was looking down trying to get my notes right. It brings up second and six. We'll get our penalty yardage from Greg Armour, official stats at halftime. Collins, single covered here to the right. Trust me, they've got more than one eyeball on Mosley. He's out to the left. We're going to shift. They'll send the strength, the H back, and the tight end to the right now. Quick out. He gets one block, needed two. It'll be a short gain of a couple of yards. It'll be short of the first down. Hartunian on the tackle. And now a big third and a long four. Closer to five. It's not five, but it's a long four. Carrier and Collins to the left. Mosley to the right. Goss is here. Comes a man in motion. They're going to go straight up the middle with Deuce Lawrence, who breaks three. He's got the first down. I see Goss with the tackle. Also aided by number three for them. Three is Trey Wampler, the linebacker. And it's another first down. Deuce Lawrence always good for some yardage. Quarterback Austin Kelly, unofficially Austin, is four for five. Collins covered by number 11 for them, Williams. In the slot with Johnson covering, they got a one high safety to this side. Kelly sprints out. He's being pursued from behind, needs a block, doesn't get it. He's going to be tossed down at the 31 by number three, Trey Wampler. And they're going to bring people hard. They're going to try to keep Kelly from having any time to put the football up. And when we break outside on anything, they are coming quite hard. So a loss of four, and it's second and 14. Ball's on the 32. Wide side of the field to the left. Lawrence in the backfield, Mosley in the slot. Now it's trips. You've got actually four receivers to that side. The tackle is not eligible. Here's Lawrence dancing, dancing, makes two men miss. He gets down across the 20 from the 32, so he's got at least 12 yards and another Jackson Christian first down. Here comes a fresh Easton Jones onto the field. And if you're trying to send me messages and stuff, you can send them to the Facebook. But right now, we will get the Facebook going in a, a few moments. 242, and here's movement. 
And a great job. You know, our boys do a good job of that. Austin Kelly, one, a master at that. And another penalty, and that will give us our six first down, but we've got to put something in on pay dirt. Ball at approximately the 20-yard line. And I've got to get the sound to come down. Y'all don't have to uh, finally an interesting call that goes our way. We made one fourth down conversion already. Mosley slow motion, who and he usually sets up after what I call slow motion. He's single guarded, and they've got a crossing route. They've got him in the corner of the end zone. It could be. It is six. Jalen Mosley, a 15-yard pass from Austin Kelly. Touchdown, Jackson Christian. Mosley, that was good, and that was a legal play. Wasn't a rub off. It was close, but far enough away. Here's Zach Cisco. It looks good. The officials say it is good. It is seven to nothing. Jackson Christian and Mosley on that pass play at the 219 mark. Let's take a 30 second timeout. I will be. And we are back. I've got to get used to, and folks, if you don't know what's happening, why it's taking me so long, I'm used to turning the number one control to come on. Our number one is having a little problem. I'm operating off the number two control, and I grab the number one because that's what I've done all season. But it's seven to nothing. Eagles, Zach Cisco's kickoff, and they shift their people, but we kick it short. It bounces. It touches one of them. Now one of their up men picks it up, and he's a good runner, but we covered him well. That is 13, Robert Ivey. He's a senior, but he's got good speed too. Now Roberson with the tackle. It'll be on the 32-yard line is where the Crusaders will set up. They're bringing... Davis to this side. Jack Collins has got him single. There is a wing back. Wide out to the right. They're going to send Shields in motion and run an inside handoff back to 22. We stayed home, and Kai White just destroyed that play. Kai White with the big tackle, and we're going to see a great American sports replay on that one. Loss of almost two. We'll call it second and 12. Now, that's what Kai Wyatt has to do because you can have that wing back can run that inside handoff kind of a counter. They want to get your attention on Shields going in motion. This time they come with the power formation left. There are three receivers standing up. You see them. Shields is to the left. Quarterback right gets it. They pull a guard in front of him. They want to toss the short one in front of that and a good reception by Hartunian, the tight end. And Hartunian has a first down. And that is 28, Hartunian. He's going to get about 17 yards, and they throw those little short ones. They'll throw the long one to Shields, but most of them come like that. Davis wide to the right. Looks like Ivy here to the left. They're going to try Shields. They pull the guards. They got blockers in front of him. He gets good yardage at first, and then there's a rugby scrum where there's a pile of Crusaders and Eagles, Blake Rowland over there. See who else got off the bottom of that pile. Now, the bad thing is uh, Easton Jones also in it is you've got people from your secondary having to make that tackle. And so that's Shields' fourth carry. He's got 11 yards so far capable of breaking one on any play. 
I was told, if it's truthful, that he has 4.45 speed. That's 4.4. To round it off, you'd say 4.5. Here we go. They give to Shields. Two guards in front of him. He comes to the left. He gets wrapped up. Kai Wyatt's one of the defenders. He's going to get pushed back by a whole bunch of people and look like Wyatt and Roland there on the tackle. There will be a very, very short game. It's going to bring up third and four. Six seconds. FACS will let the clock run out. Seven to nothing at the end of one quarter play. We'll come back after a minute timeout. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. And on Worthy Road Studios and Jackson Christian Facebook broadcast, we are flipping sides of the field. Crusaders will be going from left to right towards our west end zone. Again, a very stacked formation for them. Powers to the right, one receiver left. They are going to sprint with a receiver in front, and they throw underneath, and we're not picking up the receiver, and they are going to go to that all night. It should be a first down. They're down to, and again, about a 15-yard pickup, and they have found their honey hole in throwing to Hartunian. He's got two catches for 32 yards unofficially. And we're so interested in keeping right in the pocket, and they do a good job pulling number 50, Ty Kuntz, in front of him. Davis and Ivy to the left of the formation, I believe. We'll check it and make sure. Yes, it is. The wing back is awful close to being illegal on the line, but he goes in motion. They give it to the tailback. He's going to be hit maybe a yard gain. Running the football for them is number 24, Bryston Miller, who's listed as wing back. He was not playing wing back. Second and 10 at the Jackson Christian 33. Let's see, Roberson coming on, and Jack Collins with a little bit of limp in his leg coming off, and he is wearing one of those uh, neoprene braces over there. Slot left. Wing back to the right of the formation in much better position this time. Last time I maintain he would have been illegal. They try the middle of it. They're going to get a couple of yards over the A gap, and then we throw them back. Easton Jones there. Big Cedric at the bottom of the pile, Cedric Anderson. It is a one-yard gain, and it's third and nine. Let's see if they go back to Hartunian on the little sprint play. Be cognizant of that. Got a lot of people, and I will try to get co uh, caught up. Larry Craig says, hello, Coach Joe. Hello, Larry. Hey, let's pull for the Eagles here. David Dunn is watching. And uh, Darby's team in Auburn Town, Tennessee. Hal Waldrop, go Eagles. And I know Hal has definitely a best intro. Power of the formation. And this is the one they've been working Hartunian in. And let's see who called the timeout. There is a timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout with them. We'll be back on the Jackson Christian Network. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. We are back, and uh, very interesting contest. Some interesting calls in the contest. But as the former executive director, Ronnie Carter, says, let the players play, the coaches coach, and the officials officiate. 
but that doesn't mean I agree with everything I've seen. Let's see if they're going to the tight end Hartunian. They've got a tight version of trips, three receivers to the right. Keep your eye on 28. He's not the only man. No, they're going to – here he comes. He fakes a block. He comes underneath, but they threw to that one to, to Davis. It is complete, but not enough for a first down. It's down to about the 27, so five-yard gain. Almost six. They say fourth and three. They had either one they wanted. If I'm the quarterback, I would have picked Hartunian on that one, even though it was shorter. Hartunian had an angle to run a little bit, but I don't see it. He doesn't see it the same as I do on the field. It sends Shields in motion. They want to run the read option. It's fourth and three, and I, if we finally get him down, we had him, lost him, and then looks like Roland and Easton Jones got over there, and it should be short of the, the first down. It should be Eagle football. And it is Eagle football. Get to see it again, I believe. No, we're not going to. We're changing. That's okay. So Wright keeps it on the RPO, and that was a read option. He really wanted to pitch it to Shields, but we had taken Shields away from it now, something I don't like. Hopefully it's nothing more than a minor contusion. Kai Wyatt got hit in that right arm. Eagles first and 10 on their own 24. Kelly sets up, wants to throw, looks. It's up in the air. It's going to be a jump ball. Mosley had it, dropped it. Goss nearly intercepted it. And we'll have a replay. It's incomplete. And that was a dangerous pass. Goss. Let's go, Tammy Maples Billings says. Great play, play, Eli, from Larry Craig. Lotus Ahmad, hello, Coach Joe. Hello, Lotus. Good to hear you are listening and watching tonight. Mary Pittman, go Eagles. Will Sisko and Ben Vargason are watching. Ah, way to go, two fine, great Americans, and we get a penalty out of it. Now let's see, it's first and 15, so we can rub that one out. And we pick up the penalty. Now penalties, we have gotten some. So first and 15, ball back at the 19. Breaking through their deuce. I don't know how he got through there, but he did. And they gang tackle and rip at the football. Williams, one of the tacklers. Also, Kobe Harris was in that area, and one young man I could not pick up. And for the FACS fans that may be watching, I'm working without a color man tonight, so it's a little tougher sometimes to pick up the tacklers. Both these teams are well scouted of each other, know each other well. Execution, and maybe a little twist to throw the keys off is all that you got a man in motion. We give again to Deuce Lawrence. He bends it outside. He's going to get – a short gain, and it's going to be a third down coming up and at least 10. Third and 10. Wide side of the field to the right. Now, Jackson Christian has really picked up their big first downs by – running the football, but this one's a 10-yarder. Now, they've got 10 is assigned to Chris Johnson to guard Mosley. And we told you that Johnson is a good back. The one back, and he's helping the Goss. It's not even funny. Uh, this will be short of the first down, a nice completion to Green. Let him just a little bit. So, Green will get the catch, but it'll be fourth down. Fourth and four, and the Eagles look like they're going for it. Is this the time for no play timeout? Let's see what Darby Palmer and Coach Reichert have got dialed up. You can see 14 is coming, so they're bringing five people for sure this time. 
They give. They're not going to get the four, and they're going to put FACS. The gamble fails this time. Easton Jones. And the ball will go over on downs. Interesting. If the pressure now goes to the defense. So we're one for two on fourth down conversions. Great field position for the Crusaders. And you would uh, have to feel like for them, if they don't cash in from here, it's going to take some steam out of them. But they have it first and 10 in Jackson Christian territory on the right hash mark. They sent Ivy out to the left. Davis to the right. Shields in the backfield. Miller is your running back or wing back. Shields is the back. Uh, signals being given late. They want to throw a look in pass, and it's caught. And a good catch and down to the 20, about a 13-yard, maybe 14, depending on the catch. And Wright is four for four passing. Ivy with the catch and the first down. First and 10 at the 20. Davis left, Ivy right. The wing back, who looks like an old wing T wing back looking in. Wright has it. Gives on the inside handoff. And breaking tackles is Miller. He's headed towards the goal line. He breaks another one and just say a game or a touchdown saving tackle came from Jack Collins. So it will be first and goal from approximately the one. And that young man is a load of runner. And another first down for them. Ball's on the two officially. They say he marked it out there. Wright and Shields in the backfield. They bring it, they use the tight end Hartunian like a H back. And they are very tight except for a wide out right. They send a man in motion. Here comes Wright. He looks like he's headed towards the goal line. He is, and Wright has scored at the 635 mark. Right with a two-yard run. It's 7-6. They'll go for the extra point here. Baker, David Baker wears number seven coming on to kick. He's a senior kicker. Holder is number 18, Whit McLemore. He's a junior. Snap is up uh, there, and the kick goes. It is good. This game is tied at 7 Let's take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Serious business here at Southern Capitol Field as the Crusaders had a short drive after we failed on fourth down. They took it 33 yards with Wright, their four-year starting quarterback, capping it off. The only thing really missing I see from last year that you would remember they had a hard running running back, number 22, Jake Pennington, but he's not with them anymore, and somebody else is wearing 22 this year, Carter Miller. Here's the kickoff, and they try the onsider again, and, um, you know, he didn't call for a fair catch, and it was a good catch, but the forearm, if you go back and watch the replay to the face mask, not necessarily kosher. And for I'm sure some of the people will say, oh, you're just sour grapes in a homer. Nope, I have officiated before. And um, Julie Rouse will go Eagles. Shane Sisko's watching. Way to go, Shane. Kimberly Ellis. Go. That She says go FACS. Okay, here we go. First and 10, ball on the 49 of FACS. 
carrier in motion. It's short. Well, it's not short motion. It's slow motion, what we call it. We're going to run to the left. They got penetration. They got Deuce Lawrence for about a five-yard loss. He'll get pushed back. And, gentlemen, when the whistle blows, both teams need to stop. So a big loss. And right now the battle of the line and the linebacker shooting is being won by um, FACS. So, loss of four. Be second and a long 14. Collins left. Mosley right. Got an H back and a tight end. They shift carrier to a slot man now. Five man rush, long throw. They kind of face guarding him. And is it picked off? No, it's incomplete. But they're turning and running with Mosley, and um, you got to overthrow him a little bit, and hopefully he can run under it because they're not going to. And in high school, there's not any face guarding. You can guard them just like that. It's actually good coverage. Five for eight unofficially for Kelly, and this brings up a long third and 14. See Cisco loosening his leg up, and, he, and you have to because you get tight even standing over there. Uh, their nose man playing just in the gap between our guard, and now we've got stand-up rushers. We're going to run the football. It's Easton Jones, but again, they whip us at the line of scrimmage, and Easton gets about two, maybe three of those back, and it's going to be a punting situation. Right now, momentum in the favor of the Crusaders from FACS, 519 and counting on the clock. Now, they nearly got to Cisco the last time. Let's see if we've tightened the blocking up any at all. And they're coming. We pick them up a little better this time, and then he gets one off the side of his foot. And it's going to bounce back, and it's going to be a negative yardage punt. Wow. I hate to bring that term up, but I've used it before. Right now, we are in the same Murphy Law situation we were in at Good Pasture. The good thing is we have experience at that, but it is Good Pasture's football on the Jackson Christian 48. And they, uh, they being FACS, living in our territory. Davis comes out to the right. They send the man in motion. They're going to run the counter again or the inside handoff a little deeper this time to Miller. And he is a hard man to bring down. It takes a couple of guys. He is stocky and built like a old NFL running back named Charlie Toller. You'll have to go back a ways to find out who he was. He was running back for the Houston Oilers. Pick up of three. He's got 21 yards and three carries tonight. He being Bryston Miller. They've got him at wing back now. Sometimes he lines up at running back. Four front for us. They pull and sweep with Shields, and Shields has got yardage. He's broken one tackle. He's cutting back, and, wall, and now we have a Jack Collins slows him up. Waldrop it looked like, or Craig. It was actually Craig that came and finished him, but Shields with a nice run. If you don't lock up on him, he's as shifty as a hula girl, but there is a flag on the play, and we see people walking back. And let's see what happens. Be second and 17. Keep an eye on Hartunian, number 28, if you're a Jackson Christian fan. I can see them running the little pass pattern. Davis will go down, and uh, they run that well. Let's see if they're lined up to do that. No, they are, are in there set with the wing back. They fake it. They want to throw across, and they just threw that one away. Right knew the man was covered. Third and 17, the Eagles need to hold here. 
Let's see if they run a combo route with the three tight receivers to one side. You got Gavin Walker, Newsom, and Cedric Anderson up front. We go strong side, weak side. Craig walks up on the line of scrimmage. They're going to send Shields out, and he is tough to – and he was a wide out. He's tough to cover. They're going to throw it up in the air. And good defensive play there. Was that Carrier or who? But we'll pick him up coming back in. And it looked like Carrier. It kind of walks like Carrier. I can't see the number yet, but it is Carrier, and it is fourth down. It was intended for Shields, but a great job against a dangerous wideout. I remember when Shields was younger and playing nothing but wideout for them. Mosley back. Fourth and 17, Baker in to kick. Well, we might can get one of their punts before the night's over. And it's going to bounce out of bounds. It'll be Jackson Christian's ball. They're not going to give Mosley a chance to return. Good placement by Baker. 416 left for the Eagles to put one on the board. It's tied at seven. This won't be a running clock game tonight. Ball on the 26. Carrier, as a flanker, the actual end receiver will pick up in just a moment. It's a version of trips. They want to run the two-man screen, but they've got us back in the backfield. It's complete. Mosley breaks the tackle. What a job. Now it's a foot race. One man has a chance to knock him out of bounds. Can he keep his feet? Give him six. He could have run all the way to City Hall that time. 74 yards, Jalen Mosley. Boy, they had that one smelled out, but 74 yards and the touchdown. Mosley, 359 when that happened. Zach Sisko on. After that punt, Zach, who's good at refocusing, will get it out of the hold of Austin Kelly. It looks good. The officials say it is good. It's 14-7, to and we'll be back after this timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back. Jackson Christian with the lead. About to kick off. Star Clifton Smith says, let's go Eagles. And... Lotus Ahmad said, that's what's up Mosley with a lot of exclamation points. Cameron Mainers is watching. Cameron, we miss you. We still got a suit if you have any eligibility left. Good player. Did a great job when he was here. Fine young man. Cisco to kick off. Let's see if he directional kicks, and he does. And it bounces up. They fumble it. They're going to pick it up anyway. And uh, they made one man miss, and then about four of ours got on top of him. Dyer looks like he was one of them. And is that? Well, actually, is Eli Smith and some others. FACS will start at their own 37. But just like they did not tackle Mosley, you have to tackle Brian Shields, and he is a handful to tackle, and he's, like I said, got more moves than a hula girl. Now, they again, the counter, and they set it up nicely, but Kai Wyatt there, up uh, there's going to be a flag on it. They'll probably say we grabbed the face mask. Cedric Anderson was there. 
Nah. Now that I can buy the face mask. But his initial signal, nope. Now we better not have another one of those deals like last week. Uh, It's supposed to be from the spot of the foul, Mr. Official. Interesting call is all I can say. Wow. Oh, Ronnie Carter, I love you, but your officials are trying my patience, and Ronnie's not executive director anymore. This is Shields. They created the seam. Their line did a great job, blew us off the football, and they pick up about eight yards. And there are a host of Eagles. That's I agree with um, our public address man. Hard to pick up who looks like it's going to be second and two. So Shields with the eight yards. He's got 21 yards on the night. Ivy comes to the right. I wish I could read this one comment. It's nothing bad in the way of words. Now, you can't go towards the line of scrimmage like that. Illegal procedure. But they did blow the call earlier. So it'll make it second and seven. The ball is on the 45, almost in the center of the field. So you've got close to equidistance, maybe a little shorter territory to the left. Press coverage on the right side. They send shields in motion. They're going to give on the – and this is going to be the thing. And we stayed home. We did a good job. And we, Coach Holloway, you didn't tackle anybody, but Kai Wyatt, Jack Collins, and one other tackler. Great job. Loss – of one. Now, FACS fans may not like what I'm going to say. I think I would have a series or two ago. You scored, but I think I would come back to Hartoonian on the uh, what I call overload was my terminology when I was an OC. But let's see if they bring Shields out of the backfield. They need nine for the first down. 146, as you see on the power eight clock. They fake to Shields. They're going to run the fly. Here comes pressure, and they throw it away. And since he was where he, he was, there's no grounding. But there wasn't anybody in the same zip code then. Let's see if they bring Baker on and another third down stop. Baker comes on. Eagles have a minute 38 to put something on the board. I'm sure they'll, they've already told them which way that Baker is going to kick the football. Right a little slow, and now you're bringing a man on. To be honest with you, this is close to an illegal substitution. It really is very close. Because right how they did it, Mosley will watch it bounce. And it bounces out of bounds at about the 15. The officials work with each other on what's called uh, a triangle, and it is going to be the 15 because that one looked like one of my golf shots with a hook on it and kicked to the left. 85 yards away from pay dirt. About 50 yards from being in Zach Cisco field goal range. 14-7, your score. Kelly comes back out at quarterback. Easton Jones is in at a running back. Trips left. Now they're going to throw. It's up in the air. Can Carrier run under it? He does. He makes a man miss. He needed a block. He couldn't get it in the only way, and he got down there. But good catch and run by Carrier to the 35. 
And I was proud of our man down there because he did not make an illegal block. That went incomplete. That one incomplete to Jack Collins, normally very sure-handed. I've got unofficially Kelly 7 for 10. We'll have to see how they score because sometimes our little tall sweep thing isn't actually a pass play rather than a running play. Looks like Mosley in the slot. And again, I believe that if he went to concession stand that uh, Johnson would go with him. Spreading right, shooting down the field. Just overthrown. Green, Daniel Green. And uh, before things are over, if I'm an official, I step in right now nicely and say, guys, watch your activity after the play and stuff. Not bad. Not as bad as it was at Tipton Rosemark. Third down and 10 from the 36. Got to get to about the 20 to be in good Zach Cisco field goal range. So we're about 15 yards from where we need to be. Here's pressure, the swing pass to Easton Jones. Easton's got one man to beat to get a first down. He did not beat him, but he got good yardage. It'll be fourth and a doable situation with the clock running. And now the clock is stopped with a timeout by Jackson Christian. Let's take a timeout. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. We are back. A couple of notes here while they're taking the time out. Joan Bird says, stay strong, Eagles. And uh, Gina Evans Campbell, Campbell, pardon me, Gina, says, go Crusaders, as we do have folks from Memphis watching. And Lotus Omad, you're very kind. Coach Joe, I love your commentating. Thank you very much. And uh, great job, Eagles, by Joan Bird. And now, the telltale fourth down. We are one for two on fourth down. Everything gets a little tight right here. They go with four down linemen. There's a line back, two linebackers, and they're coming. They send Jack Collins in motion. Reverse out. Here's Kelly. He's got to throw a little quicker than he wanted to. He's got Mosley. Will he make the end zone? The official says, give him six. Mosley, 31 yards away. Wow. That's his fifth catch. Mosley with 43.1 seconds, 31 yards officially. Three touchdown passes. Zach Sisko on to attempt the extra point. Nice shot there by our ground or field camera. You see the hole. The kick is up. The kick is good. I'll signal it before them. Up, uh, we got laundry on the field. Yes, no, maybe. Let's see. Boy, this we got to hold it here. I'd love to give you a timeout, folks. But this another interesting call coming up. Tell you what, Stephanie, our great producer, Stephanie Jenna, let's take a a, time, a thirty second timeout, and I'll explain it to folks when we come back because these guys don't know what they're doing anyway. We are back. I have never seen anything like this. I coached 46 years, people, 30-plus of them in football as an assistant. I was a head basketball coach and a head coach in some other sports. But this is hilarious, and it's not the teams. you got two fine teams trying to play great football out here. 
FACS well coached. They're prepared. Jackson Christian well prepared. Cisco has to do it again. And, again, he drills it. Now, the, come on, throw the flags, guys. This one's got to be good. Let's hold it here, Steph. It's got to be a personal foul. Thank you. You got one right. And uh, it's uh, interesting. We'll take a timeout uh, while the officials figure it out on the Worthy Road Studio Network. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Okay, 43.1 seconds left. Uh, they did get one right. Let's mark it off, gentlemen. This time their mechanics is even close to right. Richard McWhorter. You need to watch the first half of this one. Richard McWhorter is the chair of the National Federation Rules Committee. He also is executive director of the TWSAA. And he emphasizes mechanics and all kinds of neat stuff like that. And, uh, but this is ridiculous. Two good teams. Let them play football and call it right. Cisco will send this one for the home run ball out the back of the end zone. Matter of fact, I almost picked off my good friend Bill Hamilton, I think, back there. And um, it'll start on the 20 for FACS. We've got two really fine football teams, well-prepared, playing hard, tackling each other, do, trying to do things, and I don't know. Uh, Lotus, I hope we do have this. Uh, and she says, or Joan Burt says, I have complete faith. And she's talking, Carter Dennison, let's go. And uh, uh, some of these, Mosley for the touchdown is another comment. Go, Jalen. Uh, here come the Crusaders. Shields in the backfield. We've loosened our secondary. They're going to try Shields. They pull those guards, and they do such a great job. Shields makes you miss. He fumbled. Does the Eagles have it with 35 seconds? They do, and they are... Just a couple of yards out of Zach Cisco field goal range, but we've got time. And I told you, fumbles, interceptions, and penalties. Was it Easton Jones that got out? We'll find out from Greg Armour, the official score. I'm doing what I shouldn't do sometimes. I'm watching to see what the officials are going to do next. They've become the show rather than the game. I know we're having trouble getting officials and things like that, but... Let's do it right, guys. Jackson Christian football. We'll find out about the fumble recovery. Kelly back. Needs a block to throw it long. He throws it long. There's a lot of pushing and going on down there. Now, the question is going to be, folks, on Jackson Christian, don't get excited. They're liable to call offensive pass interference on us. Hold your breath. Cross your fingers. Say a prayer. Y'all outside, pray because you never know what these guys are going to do. Now, it's marked off in high school football from the line of scrimmage. It is not NFL. So, let's see. Here we go. We've got to have a conference. And I don't blame the FACS coach. I'd probably have a comment or two also because it looked like rooster fighting down there, but the first rooster fight came from the defender. It'll be 15 yards and a first down for the Eagles with 32.7 seconds to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. That's right. Do you hear our fans out there? Southern Capital first down. Mosley by himself. Johnson has got him. That's been a good man. Here comes Goss to help. So they've got him double covered. Mosley, they look him. Now they flush Kelly out of there, and he's got to get rid of the football. He gets a good block, throws it in the back of the end zone, and it is picked off in the end zone. So, and there is a flag on the play, probably an illegal block. 19.4 seconds. We're going to hold it right here and see what's happening. And our defense is going out there. I'd say the interception is probably going to hold up 
there's probably a holding call which they should decline, they being FACS, and they do. So the INT, 9 for 13 with an INT. And a good play by the defender for FACS. That one held up in the air. Not that it wasn't thrown well, but Kelly was having to throw and couldn't get all the zip he wanted in it. 19.4 seconds, time for at least two plays. You could even get three. Let's see if they try to get Shields loose down the field. They may just take a knee. They've gone into victory formation, but make sure uh, they're going to take the snap. They're going to let the clock run out and go in and regroup. This half is going to end at 21 to 7, and I like what the Eagles are doing. Uh, they are staying at the line to check them out, even though Wright has walked the football over. Smart football, half ends, 21-7. Eagles lead the Crusaders. We'll be back after some important timeouts, and during halftime, we'll have official stats from Greg Armour. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. 
something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanofJackson.com. You should already be here. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. 
but you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving and the blacksmith restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And we are back here at Southern Capitol Field, Ronnie Fowler Stadium in the Greg Armour Press Box. And to speak of a good man, we have Greg Armour in the press box, the man that it's named for. Greg, an interesting first half, uh, starting with the onside kick. And, uh, and you, know, you know what my word interesting means, and there's been a lot of interesting calls. But here's a man that can bring sanity to this broadcast, Greg Armour. Greg, I'm going to let you run with the stats. Uh, Jackson Christian, uh, we had uh, six first downs in the pass department. We passed 15 times, completing 10 for 202 yards. Jalen Mosley had seven catches for 142 yards and three TDs. Number 22, Trent Carey, had one catch for 48 yards. Uh, number zero, Easton Jones, had one for five and Number 85, Daniel Green, had one for seven. Uh, Austin had three TDs and one interception. The interception coming right at the end of the half almost. In the rushing department, we rushed 14 times for 45 yards. Deuce Lawrence had seven for 31. Mosley had one for nine. Easton Jones had four for 13. We punted once for a negative two. We had two penalties for 30 for two penalties for 20 yards and we scored 14 points all right for facs they no we got 21 points greg oh 21 points that's yeah. right yes yes 21 i'm sorry I, I'm, I'm so hyped up right now after watching the officials work i may sign up to officiate <laughs> all right for facs they had six first downs in the passing department their quarterback through attempted seven completed four for 49 yards in the rushing department, they rushed 15 times for 50 yards. Uh, number one rushed nine times for 31, 24, four times for 21. Number six, one time for two yards, which was the only touchdown they had. And number 21 for a negative two. Uh, they punted the ball three times for an average of 31. They had seven penalties for 60 yards. And they scored seven points coming in the second quarter. Greg, anything, uh, tell, give me the first down breakdown again for both teams. Uh, first down for Jackson Christian, we had six. For FACS, they had five. Okay, we had six first downs. That's correct. And they had five. I was right on theirs. I shorted us one. And uh, we uh, went for it on fourth down, what, three times? I think we were successful two out of three. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, that second one, though. You know, and, and people don't question Darby. This is what you got to do in a game like this. I know people, oh, you all should have pointed to Well, you know what? Hindsight's wonderful. It really is. Um, touchdown at, when they intercepted us. If we had just blocked one man a little better, Kelly could have got his feet under him. He still threw a nice pass. It just didn't have, didn't have the normal yeah. Austin Kelly yeah. zip on it. He's yeah. going to his left. You know, uh, we had uh, opportunity with the fumble recovery. Uh, I've got Brooks Golf with the fumble recovery. I don't really know who it was, but I think it was Brooks. Uh, you know, we could have had it another touchdown. You know, but you know, the, you know, as they were saying, goes high inside at twenty twenty. It is uh, adjustments to be made by both teams. We have a game breaker in Jalen Mosley, but they have one too. And if we don't lock up on Shields a little earlier, I thought one time he. He was one man away from cutting it back against the green and being gone. Yeah, he's uh, he's got 31 yards. You know, that's probably low for his first half. I think he's had over 100 in every game they've played. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, he can take a kickoff back. The bad news is they get the opening kickoff for the second half. That's correct, they do. But we just have to come out. Our defense needs to come out and make a statement and uh, hold, the, hold them to just three and out. Absolutely. It um, has been an unusual game, an interesting game. Uh, we uh, It's like they've gotten two opening kickoffs with that recovery. But our defense held up pretty well. 
The uh, But I, I still think about it, and this is wishful thinking, fans. The score there on that last one that got intercepted sure would have made things interesting. And we've had another inadvertent whistle. I believe that's the third one, and all of them have gone against us and hurt us this year. Well, we had an inverted whistle on the uh, extra point. Yeah. And uh, the, it's – but they made us re kick it. But really, that worked out, you know. I wish they would have let us. I, I lost the middle school championship with Alan Ford's head coach, and I was the OC. Because uh, if they had just let us replay that one, we would have scored. But they blew it dead and gave the ball to Hayward because it was a fourth down play. Uh, officiating very in- inconsistent. And. Uh, I'll do the commentating on that. You don't have to speak on that one. Hey, Coach Tyson's watching us, and so is Antoine Long. Well, great. Uh, two great guys right there, and Carter Dennison and Brenda Connor Nicholas. But, Greg, what do you expect in the second half? Well, I think we've just got to come out and establish the line of scrimmage and, uh, you know, keep get them three and out. And then offense just needs to just do what they do yeah. best. We need to get the score up to 28-7. And yeah. we yeah. got a hole. I have a feeling Zach will probably directional kick this time. Yeah. And they do a good job. They line them up in a stack. And then uh, they're guessing. We're guessing where we kick it. But I got a feeling I know Darby well enough. You do too. He'll probably have us directional kick somewhere. And uh, we got to give it good coverage, stay in our lanes. And a lot of little things we got to do. And – we can't afford to let – there's a lot of holding going on out there. Uh, cool heads win hot ball games, and that's what we've got to have. Yeah. Well, on another note, Joe, uh, our middle school went last night to TRA to play their middle school. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're and reporting that. we ended the season on a win, 38-8. Uh, to eight. Uh, They got better, the whole so – each one. Yep. You guys, Coach Wyatt and the rest of you guys that helped him, what a great job y'all did with them. The elementary school team uh, – did they lose a game, the elementary school team? They did not. They did not. I thought they were undefeated. One of my good buddies, Max Nash, plays on that. And I believe there's a young man named Scott that can run the football and throw it a little bit, plays on that team. That's correct. Yep. So we Golf ended- team uh, has advanced. Yep. We ended up the season four and three. And four and three. And Coach Goldie got his 100th victory, the soccer coach. He did. And they've got a uh, playoff game Monday. Don't know here here at the at their field. Don't know who what they're playing yet. Well, that's a great eagle report, Greg. Before we take our next time out, anything you want to say to the fans and give them some hints, and you'll have final stats after the game. No, we just need to come out and play our type of ball, and and we should be okay. That sounds like a winner, Greg. We will be back after this timeout. You heard the great Greg Armour, who the press box thirty-five years of service to Jackson Christian. Oh, something before you go, Greg. Uh, any word on Dr. Benton? I know they had to, uh, uh, what do they call it, flight out, and he did get hit today. And I understand I have, there's some leg damage, yeah, but how bad, got, I, don't I don't know. I don't know the situation, but I, th- I think the last word we heard, he was in stable condition. Yeah, and let's, let's prayers for Dr. Benton, and uh, we need to mention that. We will be back after this two-minute timeout. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives. 0% financing up to 60 months. And invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned too. Luxury vehicles. BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. 
Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Back here as I remember that I'm on mic too. And I want to thank all you fans for watching, listening, support the advertisers you see and hear us talk about. It is 21 to 7 at halftime. And uh, Jalen Mosley has all three Jackson Christian touchdowns. Wright, the fine four year starter quarterback for the Crusaders, has their touchdown. And uh, I believe the official stat was two for four on fourth down conversions for Jackson Christian. And, of course, uh, so far the fine running back and wide out shields for Crusaders been held somewhat in check, although he made one run that I thought might really go somewhere. Jackson Christian took the football to open, and they got the onside kick recovered by the Crusaders, so they have to kick off to the Crusaders, who ended a Jackson Christian threat with an interception, two fine teams, well coached. You can tell both of them have put in a lot of film work, a lot of thought in developing their game plans. We'll find out what adjustments have been made here at halftime. And again, Antoine Long, one of our old players at Liberty, and he's a coach now, but also a fine insurance guy he has written us. Kyle Teichman is watching our fine boys coach. I know Tony Schutz probably is too. And uh, Lotus Omad, maybe maybe we need to get you to come in and sit here and be my color person or something like that. I, I can't say color man on that one. But um, 
anyway, all of you fans, including the Crusader fans that have written, we appreciate it. And remember, you do not have to pay for these broadcasts. Uh, the National Federation is making a big effort to corral and make all of you pay eleven ninety nine plus the state of Tennessee tax for broadcast of high school football. But as long as they're independent companies and they are all over the state, uh, my good friend Peyton Sickler in Gatlinburg watches the team he supports on an independent broadcaster. He pays nothing because they have advertising for their broadcast, and we want to thank those fine advertisers. We're just about ready for a Zach Cisco kickoff. And no, Moose, I do not have a Kingsport Dobbins Bennett score. Moose has written me. I will tell you this, Oak Ridge Moose is winning 42-21 to four, uh, 21 over Knox Central. And I know nobody down here or anybody. Alcoa has beaten, uh, it looks like, Knox West 24-7. That is a big one. See who is back deep. I see number two. That is Davis. And I will be surprised, but it does not look like Shields deep back there. They've moved Shields up to about the 20 in case Zach Directional kicks short. Uh, Cisco is, but there's no win or anything. He is capable of reaching the end zone, but they've got four speedy guys, two up front that can run like a deer. They've got two in the back that can also run like a deer. Deers are pretty fast. Matter of fact, they're very fast. We're trying to get some local scores for you. As uh, this has been an interesting night, Peabody beating the stuffing out of Camden Central, 44 to 28 right now. McKenzie, uh, they need to call that one. Have a mercy killing McKenzie, 50 Perry County, nothing. Uh, and that one, no score on Jackson Southside and Bolivar. Crockett County beating O'Bine, 20 to seven. We're just about ready for the Zach Cisco kickoff. Shields and them uh, adjust and come up, and this one goes deep, deep, deep. It's five yards deep in the end zone, and FACS will start on their own 20, 80 yards away from the goal line, but they have a young man, please remember, fans, that is very capable of to actually, there's more than one that can take it to the house. Miller has good speed, and let's see what adjustments were made um, because they have, out of that bunch formation or the tight trips, if you want to call it that, they have made hay while the sunshine with two big catches by Hartooni in the tight end. They go with a wide out to each side. They've got the bunch formation. Let's see where they go with it. Now, they can send a man in motion. And um, they're going. they got to fly, and they've got a man open. And almost intercepted, but we were beating Shields took off and left our corner, and he was supposed to have safety help. He didn't get any. Now, that's the kind of breakdown that will cost you. Fastest way to score a touchdown is to return a kickoff or get beaten on a long pass. It takes a little longer to score on a long run. So, second and ten. Ball equidistance from each sideline. Ball on the 20. Locate Shields. He's gone to wide out, and he's single covered. Mosley now cheats over towards his side. Roland, we're playing too deep, and Wright is going to run it. And he's a good, strong runner, but somebody has a shoestring or ankle tackle over there, and we'll have to give them credit. Can't see who it is. Maybe they'll get an announcement. Was that Jack Collins? Jack Collins, but Jack is limping and co coming out. And Roberson, Jack's not the biggest guy in the world, but Roberson, Carlos, has a lot of moxie, but he is smaller than any of their wideouts. He'll be playing for the veteran, Jack Collins. Jack being checked by the trainer right now. Jack wears number 88. And they're going to try to pick on the rookie here, or the young man. Roberson is matched up. Blake Rowland will have to give him some help. Wing back is this side. Hartunian's going out for a pass this time. I thought, uh, now, there's another long pass over there. And Ivy, Mosley was there, and Mosley wisely watched it and judged it. Four passes complete. Four for nine now for the quarterback. It is fourth down. Fourth and 12. 
a punting situation. And now the referees have stopped the clock. You want to listen to the Saturday Sports Roundup tomorrow for some commentary. Bill Hamilton has some insights into the game that I don't even have. He's down there on the field. Now there is a penalty. And this one looks like there may have been some colorful language. I'm not going to say that but uh, other than what I said. But you never know. And Lotus, you're right. You are female. And that's the reason I said a color person because I don't know that they call it color woman. So trying to be generic or gender correct on that. And, and uh, appreciate you confirming that. I thought I was right. It wouldn't be right to call you a color man. But I believe you could do it. You get enthusiastic, and we love you for that. Fourth down. Ball is back on the nine-yard line. Mosley is at the FACS 41. Kicking away from him. Nice spiral. Jalen will need to let it bounce, and it will. It takes a good FACS roll. They're going to get about 15 to 17 yards out of that roll. It will be spotted down at the Jackson Christian 41. And uh, good judgment by Jalen, no use in, in trying to make a mistake by catching one and being the hero. You might take it all the way. You might, you know, football that turned over like that is hard to catch sometimes. We see Kelly come out there with Deuce Lawrence, Jalen Mosley to the short side of the field, tight end, and the H back to the left side. One wide out far to the right. Clock is wound are supposed to be Mosley's in motion. They fake to him and give Lawrence, and they have lots of jerseys, and Deuce Lawrence breaking tackles, cover up that football, son, and he did. He goes from our 41 down to about the 39 of FACS for a first down. 20-yard gain and the seventh first down of the night for the Eagles. 51 yards and 10 carries. Wide side of the field. Great job of blocking. I know Nash and Neubauer on this side had to move some people. Eli Gay had to hold serve because they're sticking a guy in the gap some of the time. They play with four down linemen most of the time. There they go, four down. One. Send Carrier into a slot. They've not shifted now, they do, but we're running to play. And Deuce up the middle. Deuce across the 35, down to about the 32-yard line. Gain of approximately seven, depending on the spot. And we are not sure how they're going to call it. We're going to still call it a seven-yard gain. And it is, they've got second two on the board. It's second about two and a half. Collins back in there, but with a little hitch or limp in his his leg there. Mosley here to the short side of the field. He'll start in motion. And, again, the inside double handoff, as you saw it go to Carrier, and Carrier will get the first down. And uh, an excellent play, well conceived. Probably didn't go as far as they wanted it to, but you hand off to Deuce. Deuce hands off with the inside handoff to uh, Lawrence or not to Lawrence, but to uh, Carrier. And Carrier takes it for a first down. First and 10 for the Eagles. They are on the 28-yard line of FACS. We'll bring two wide outs to this side, strength of the formation to the left. And this is where they usually blow a linebacker, but we shift, and they'll shift and send 56 of their team. Gatlin, who's a good player, reversing out. Needing time. He got a little time. It's thrown up in the air. Did he catch it? There's a flag down. We'll see who pushed. I think he got one foot down. Have we got a replay? Hopefully we do, whether they call the flag or whatever. But let's see if we can get a replay on that one. I'll watch the officials and the, our field camera watching the officials. And we must not have the replay on that one. 
push. It's pass interference. We'll get the penalty yards. I'd rather have the catch yards. I thought he got one foot down. Oh, here comes the replay, folks. Let's watch and see if we can tell if he gets his foot down. Ball's thrown up. They're pushing on him. Oh, yes, he got it down right there. It was a catch. Holy moly. Mass substitutions by FACS. They're bringing a lot of fresh guys on. And I see their fine defensive end, Cothran, come back out on the field. 15-yard penalty. Another first down. Still would have rather had the catch, though. That's the commentator talking. It's what happens to old coaches that become play-by-play -play people. Collins to the right. Carrier to the left. Mosley this time at more like an H-back, not a wing-back. They send him forward. They look for him. Deuce Lawrence breaks one tackle. He runs by another guy. Spins. Can he smell the goal line? Just like the old guy, Paul Horning. Do they give it to him or they say he's short by a half yard? Oh, me. Let's see that replay on that one. I just don't know about that. Another first down, but... Yeah, I see where the left foot. That time the officials got one right. The left foot went out before he broke the plane. So a good call. Pick up of 13 yards. It's goal to go. First and goal from the one. We're here in the third quarter. The up oh, They blow that one dead. And we don't take a lot of snaps. They had some people call it the jumbo backfield. Now we're going to go with the small group. This one's going to cost us. Illegal procedure. That'll move the ball back to the six. So the jumbo backfield goes out. And that's one of those fumbles I was telling you about. And then they had Big Cedric ready to plow a hole in there. Caleb Newsom was ready to score, but it's now first and goal from the six. Four plays to get it in here. Got one of the best field goal kickers in the state, Zach Sisko, ready if we don't get it in there. Jack Collins goes far to the right. Mosley, he's being watched by two people. Looks like single coverage. No, it's not. We shift. They shift. Strong side, weak side. Here comes Deuce Lawrence. Deuce dancing, dancing. He gets across the five. And push back for second down. We'll see where they spot the football. Bunch of crusaders on that one. I hate to give anybody any any credit because it would hurt. So the whole gang there, crusaders did a good job of plugging that one up. Only a gain of about two. That makes it second goal from the four. Kelly wants to throw, has to loft it in the back of the end zone. He's got green. There was all kinds of pushing off down there, and they're going to say it harmlessly fell incomplete. Uh, gee. Yeah, let's see that one again if we can get it quick because we're going to go quick. But Oh, they did call pass interference. My apologies to the referees. They called it, ladies. I thought this should give... Now we will signal the ball in. So we get to do second again. Second down and goal from the two. I mean, I thought I'm, I have some martial arts expertise, and I thought I was in a karate tournament the way it looked down there. Slot right, two men in the backfield, sending Collins in motion. Cross buck type action at this time. Boy, they've, they smell Deuce out coming, and he's going to get tackled for a loss. Matter of fact, he got tackled back by the edge of the goal area for the soccer field, and they had everybody but the kitchen sink in the backfield. So that will run it to third down, and it's going to be third and five. Probably a pass play coming up or some type of misdirection. Mosley by himself. Johnson's got him. There are seven people within half a yard. And miscommunication incomplete as Mosley ran a slant in the ball thrown behind him. So it's fourth down, and here comes Zach Sisko. And I'm going to tell you what, you cannot 
You cannot fuss about this decision. That makes it a three-score game if Cisco hits this one. They call a timeout, it looks like. And it is a timeout. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. We are back, and Jackson Christian has taken the field goal unit off on fourth and goal from the five and brought back the offense. FACS has brought back their defense. Collins far to the right. Mosley working the short side of the field with man coverage. Looks like a 6-5 goal line defense, and they're bringing everybody but the uh, um, safety. Mosley jumps. He's hit. He catches it. He holds on. He was hit early, too. Jalen Mosley has his fourth touchdown of the night and has extended the Jackson Christian lead. TD pass of five yards at the 622 mark. That comes at 622 is what I'm going to write in here. Zach Sisko on for the all-important extra point. And this is an important extra point. The snap, the kick is up. It's close. It's good. 28-7 the score. Let's take a 30-second timeout on Jackson Christian Network. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, Make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. And you see Cisco teeing it up. Jackson Christian leads 28. This one, a directional kick. They made sure. Good receiver got it. Uh, this young man has speed, but we also got down there. I see Easton Jones on it. Down on the ground is that Smith that covered that one. We'll have to see. And they'll get good field position to start. They being the... Crusaders, and they need to put one on the board here. 6.08 to go in the third quarter. And here come the Crusaders. Empty backfield. They throw out there. It's lobbed up there. We knock ourselves off the football. Mosley had good coverage also. Jack Collins, and we almost had an INT, but almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and atomic bombs. Josh Wright now four for ten unofficially passing the football. Interesting, they went away from the play that got Hartunian two catches. Their speed at every position out there for the Crusaders they give to Shields. He's got a little seam. Now we close in on him, but a nice game. I saw Easton Jones falling in there, Caleb Newsom falling in there on the tackle, and Gavin Walker. It is third down. It is third and about five.
Big play here. We've got four on the line, three down linemen, single coverage. And they fumble the football. And now they toss it out here in some room to run. But we close it down fast. He breaks a tackle, giving ground and staying with it is Carrier. Also there was Goff. And two or three other Eagles coming to help out. Fans, you want to watch this one again as they go into punt formation. Uh, watch this. Fumble snapped. Young man did a good job. Right, did. He tosses out. Did all he could. Watch the pursuit by the Eagles. Gavin Walker coming also. And some good help as Easton Jones helped turn him in there. Mosley back would love to get his hands on one. We have to go out and cover their gunners. I don't know if Baker's much of a passer. It is fourth and 17. He's got a good one step. Man, he got that one up high. It turns over, and it's going to take a bounce. He's got a good kick that always takes a good bounce for them. It goes down to almost the 25. It'll actually be on the 30-yard line side of the 25, where the Eagles will get possession first and 10. And they would love to put, we'll call it, I'm going to call it the 26 because they've scooted it up and put the nose of the football at the 26. Wide side of the field with Jack Collins. Tell you what, FACS is safety. Goss does a good job of not only helping on things, but he's everywhere. Running play, we pull a guard. Did not get a man blocked. They fill the gap where we pull from, and we lost a yard. And uh, Johnson, one of the tacklers there, I did not pick up the other one. And I apologize to the FACS fans. It's second and about ten and a half. Jackson Christian using all they got of the play clock. They've still got 20 seconds left on it. This time they've got a different matchup, but he's going to get safety help on Mosley. And they throw to Green across the middle. The big man rumbles, and he just carried a defender and uh, a first down from the 25 to the 49, 24-yard pickup by Daniel Green. And it is a Southern Capital first down. 24 yards, 12 for 15. Flag on the play. 3.21 to go in this half. The ball originally is on the 49 of Jackson Christian. We're going to see what the penalty is. It is offsides, and you can't blame the young men from FACS want to get into that backfield. The play before the pass to Green, they did a great job. Green, two catches, 31 yards right now. Charlotte Rowe, watch them. Eagles play their game. Charlotte Rowe, yes. Haley Myers has said go Eagles, and so has Joe Martin. And Mark Fenton, I will get your comment in just a moment. Here's Kelly. Give him to Deuce Lawrence. Makes a good fake. Deuce is across the 45, down to the 40, and there's where a host of Crusaders will tackle him. Wampler, one of the men in on that. Also number 60 for them. And that is Kobe Harris, who has played a good game. Kobe leaving the field. I don't think he's hurt. I think he just needs a rest. And another first down for Jackson Christian. Deuce with a good carry there. We'll get his official totals from Greg Armour. Fake to him. Quick pass out here to Jack Collins. Jack Gets across the 30 and was bulldogged in a good tackle by Johnson. Out of bounds at about the 25. Maybe a little more than that. I actually got down to the 23. Another first down, Southern Capital. Jack Collins with the pickup about 16 yards. I've got 13 for 16 with an INT for Austin Kelly, but he's got a bunch of touchdowns to the man, Jalen Mosley. Mosley in the slot with Collins outside of him. We shift, sending Green and Carrier to the left side of the formation. Easton is in at running back. He follows a couple of blockers. Now, good penetration that time by 56. Aven Gatlin, but he drug him. Easton drug him a couple of yards and picks up four. 
Got a good one-two punch with Easton Jones and Deuce Lawrence. Easton still in. Plays being signaled in. Of course, Coach Riker does such a great job of calling offensive plays. And when you've got a couple of our coaches that you don't know which one is the real signals. Deuce getting ready to come back in. Slot right with Mosley and Collins. Trying the left side, Easton Jones. The play slowed up, and Easton on nothing but second effort broke two tackles and got down to about the 11-yard line. Pickup of about nine and another first down for Jackson Christian. I've got that with 11 unofficially. And it should be. Actually, he got more than that. He got 11 yards. First and goal. Oh, that's, no, they don't. Now they got the ball set right. It is on the 12, and I thought that's where it should have been. So we can still get a first down at the two-yard line. It's first and 10 from the FACS 12. 119, four seconds left on the play clock to get the playoff. And I think we got a timeout just in time to save from getting a penalty. So with the 30-second timeout call, let's take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. And we're back on camera one. Great job, our camera crew, Stephanie and crew here in the press box doing a good job. It is first and ten. We almost let the clock run out. Coaching staff, great job on getting that timeout call before we got a five-yard penalty. There will be 25 seconds on the play clock when they wind the play clock. Deuce Lawrence back in there now, 12 yards away from pay dirt. Now, remember the last time we were in the red zone, we threw an interception, but that was at the end of the second quarter. Now we're going to have a sweep left, but they're going to call it back. Uh, we had two men in motion. If you'll go back, ladies, if we can get a replay, you'll see we had two men in motion. Yeah, illegal shift, um, you can't do that. <laughs> that's, that's a no-no. That'll cost us five. And we also had to use a timeout, but not on this, but to keep from getting five anyway. A little miscommunication, so it'll be first and 15 from the 17-yard line. We can get a first down at the two. Carrier will go to the right. Now, there seems to be more confusion. The official trying to explain something. One oh two on the clock is right. You, we'll get our power aid clock back up there in a moment. Here we go, the tall sweep, Collins. He got outside one man. Jack Collins has got room going right. Jack Collins, smalls goal line. Give him six. The senior, Jack Collins, one of the great outfielders on the baseball team, just went 17 yards on the pitch. And some of the crowd is hollering for an encore for Jack Collins. Uh, I don't know how you give him one, but that's okay. He did a great job running the football. 55.6, 17-yard run. Is it coming back? Oh, oh me. It is coming back. I got all excited over nothing. We're going to replay first down. You know we had an inadvertent whistle that cost us a play in the first half. So we're going to replay first down. I'll let you use the word inept in a sentence, and I'm not talking about the two teams. These are two great teams. This time good penetration, but Jack breaks it, goes the other way. He doesn't get a touchdown, but i tell you what it, the young man does do. He gets down and gets five of those yards back, back to the 12. It'll bring up second and 10 approximately.
And I've got to get my depth chart out. This looks like Mason Vaughn making an appearance. You know, Mason has been injured, and it is Mason. We have two men in the backfield. Mosley to the right side. Mason, who has some speed, can also catch football. It's thrown up in the air, and um, this one is good defense by FACS. They had a man that was trying to keep him from seeing it, which is legal the way he did it, and the safety came across and knocked it away. So that's good coverage by them. 13 for 17 for Kelly. And now there's a holding penalty, so wipe that one out, and we'll go back. Now we're going backwards. The replay of a, of a touchdown, they said we had to do it over again. Uh, somebody probably blew another inadvertent whistle. We can't tell up here, but I did get confirmation of an inadvertent whistle in the second half. It's second and 20, which constitutes about a $10 cab ride. Ball's on the 22. Mosley, there's three receivers that side. Deuce Lawrence, power to the right. Let's see if they come back left. Now here comes Green. Green will be an H-back. They give to Deuce, and he's not got any leverage, and he's going to be uh, chopped down at the 25, and that's the kind of tackle not meant to hurt anybody. Right, the quarterback and also a linebacker got him for a three-yard loss. Third and 23, and uh, clock time will run out. At the end of three quarters of the play, as you see the clock run out, Jackson Christian 28, FACS 7. Let's take a timeout of a minute. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Twelve minutes of football left at Southern Capital Field. Ronnie Fowler Stadium, we are broadcasting from the Greg Armour Press Box. You'll hear Greg Armour, who 35 years service, is a, it was a great honor last year when they named the press box after him. FACS will try to stop Jackson Christian and hold them without a field goal or a touchdown here. 12 minutes to play. It's third and 23 on the 25-yard line. We're about ready to start the fourth quarter. Great shot of our Jackson Christian crowd and where it says Ronnie Fowler Stadium. And, of course, we're playing on AstroTurf. And that fine offensive line, they've done a good job except for a couple of plays that they tried to do a good job, but FACS did a little better. Sometimes it boils down to both sets of people do a good job and somebody outplays somebody on a play. Third and 23. Slots to each side. Here comes the rush. Throws it a little quicker than he wanted to, but it's a touchdown. And I bet you get, can't guess who caught the football. A 25-yard touchdown for number 23. And uh, I was teasing about you couldn't guess who caught it. Jalen Mosley has scored again. And a uh, 25-yard touchdown pass. 14 for 18 for Austin Kelly, who also doubles as a shortstop on the baseball team. The snap, the kick is up. It splits the uprights with precision. It is 35 to 7 with 11.48 to go in this contest. We'll take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. 
I cannot get all the comments that I am receiving, but uh, uh, Jalen Mosley, Austin Kelly, you don't have to worry about being loved. Easton Jones, go Eagles. I got so many go Eagles, I can't read them all. And uh, way to go. Uh, I still feel like Jack Collins was robbed by the officials on his double covered all night. Now he has five TDs. Way to go, Jalen. You know, that is a tribute. Yeah, and they have the, their fine safety, Goss, checking him out. This one kicked up in the air. It'll come down, and they fumble it, and they fumble it again. And Jackson Christian may have the football. Let's see. With this officiating crew, I will not say anything till I see an official signal because you never know. Ooh. Yeah, I did say ooh, and you ought to hear the crowd. Mm-mm-mm. You know, my old basketball coach, Billy Henry at Union University, I better not tell any Billy Henry stories. They're clean, but uh, uh, anyway, this reminds me of the night that uh, uh, Harold Johnson, who uh, the late Harold Johnson, kicked our student body president out of the gymnasium at Union. Nobody that I know of, unless there was one assistant on the other team, uh, may have gone to the showers a little early, but not over a penalty. Slot. Left, single receive right, and they're looking for speed. And they're going to crank the javelin up, throw it deep. They underthrow, and it is almost picked off. Good coverage there with safety help. Looks like Vaughn got across there and Carrier on the coverage. Mason Vaughn getting some action, and that young man has been hurt. We have missed him. Pass incomplete. Four for 11 passing. Josh Wright, a four-year starter, a fine quarterback, has shields in the backfield. Ivy and Davis are his wideouts. Miller, the wing back. Three down linemen, they hand off shields, pull the guards. Shields had some yardage. It closed. I see Big Cedric filtered out there. Looks like Craig probably got out there. Caleb Newsom and Gavin Walker. Man, they will all meet at the running back. And a pickup of about two, two and a half. Eli Craig was there, a uh, good man. Tommy McLean reinforced it. And Chase, thank you for our good spotting charts. It helps a lot. Third and eight, a big possession down. Now they got, let's see if they look for Hartunian or they look for the other player. They pull the guard always in front of him. I like this play and uh, good pressure. Walker was there. Caleb Newsom was there. And let's introduce ourselves to the quarterback. It was intended, I think, for Hartunian. The idea was good. The pressure defense kept it from being. Vaughn leaves and Jalen Mosley, who's got to be a tired young man, but he doesn't mind. He works hard. Baker in to kick fourth and eight. And we'll probably be in punt safe. Got to cover those gunners. Watch the wing back. He kind of circles out. Now it's a trick play. And we've got to adjust. You always have a trick play formation. Mosley will come in as a safety. The up back is right. They are going to have to probably take a timeout. The clock ran out. It's delay of game. They did not get their timeout call. It'll cost them five. And let's see if the surprise is over. We recognized, but folks, always when you coach football, have a surprise formation. Uh, Bear Bryant write, wrote a very scholarly text years ago that coaches still use that tells you how to cover these surprise formations. And still a little bit of a surprise the way they're running. Baker's going to kick it, though. When you see him take the step up like that, Mosley says, I want no business of this, even if it does go down past my 15. Very smartly. And uh, Baker gets good rolls, and it'll go down to the 11, and Jackson Christian will be approximately 90 yards from their goal line that they want to cross. And again, both teams showing – that they are well coached. 10.36 on the clock. Jackson Christian with that 35-7 lead. And no, it's not running clock time. Jackson Christian would have to score again and hold 
FACS. Now, if they score again, the clock will start running. But um, still under normal timing regulations, you have to get be 30 points ahead. Slot right, Mosley's in the slot, and he's going to be single car. Here's the safety cheating over. They're going to give to Deuce Lawrence. Deuce has got good yardage. He'll get across to about the 21. He'll be close and may have the first down. Goss, the main tackler on that one, and it is a first down. I've got 12 first downs for the Eagles. Those are unofficial. Dillon says holy, and uh, Maurice Lawrence, no crumbs left here. I'm trying to read some of these, and folks, if I don't get them all, I apologize. But having a little trouble with the old scoreboard tonight that I was going to do for you. And uh, running is Deuce Lawrence making people miss. Gets to the 25. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what, he got some good initial blocks, but a lot of effort on his own. And uh, tackle that time, Cawthorn was in on it. There was one other young man, may have been 56, Gatlin. But a pickup of about five. South Fulton leading Greenfield 27-7. Let's try to get some scores of interest for our fans. Second and five from the 26. The Eagles on the right hash mark. Bringing Green as a H-back to this side. The pass play, and here comes the rush. It is thrown, and Jack Collins, oh, there's got to be. Well, check that. It's either a horse call or a face mask, but it's not going to get called. Another first down. Collins with about a 28-yard gain. Running play, Deuce Lawrence tries the right side. Deuce gets through. Deuce, if one man hadn't hit him and he stumbled, he would have probably scored. He goes from the 47 down to about the 30. 17-yard pickup and another first down. The fans having fun with the Southern Capital first downs. 8.51, and FACS wants a timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back with more exciting Jackson Christian football. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And Stephanie gets me back here with the Eagles in control at 35-7. But let me tell you, folks, FACS is a fine coach team. They hit people. They're going to be heard from some more this year. This game not over. But a commanding lead right now at the 851 mark. FACS called a timeout. They adjusted their defense a little bit. They stay with their four down linemen, but they brought a safety up closer. There's a pass that may get no, it got picked off. And that one hung just a little long. It looked like it was going to be open, but you got to throw a frozen rope. And the second INT. That's Goss with the INT. And I think Goss had a fumble recovery or INT earlier. That stops the scoring drive at the 842 mark. So FACS, and they showed five, the adjustment helped. And they'll go from their own 27, the Crusaders, that is. Lotus Omar, I'm going to read it, Otis. I may, uh, Lotus, I may get in trouble. These officials need to get... And now flag on the play. Personal foul, face mask. Interesting. And it's probably the right call, but uh, I have to agree with Lotus on this. Jenny Louise DeMaze says, go Eagles. And here comes the running back. He's going to get about three tough yards. I see Kai there, but I see a bunch of other now. 
they're probably going to flag us maybe for pulling the helmet off or either they're going to get us for uh, – well, we'll find out what it is. Face mask again. I don't know. In basketball, as a coach, you can fill out a card and keep certain officials from calling your home games. I didn't see the face mask. I'm not going to tell you it didn't happen, but... I see malice by the umpire behind the line. He show uh, a little bit of animosity and temper there, and you can't do that. So another first down for FACS. And a good catch, throw and catch by Wright. And they say he was out of bounds. I, I cannot judge it. If we got a replay, we'll give uh, the benefit of the doubt. But it was a nice throw and catch no matter what by Wright. Let's see if we can pick it up over on the sideline and see if he is in bounds. He could have been juggling it. I think he was in bounds enough if he wasn't juggling. There's no way I can tell if Shields was juggling the football. But I'm going to tell you what, a good job of throwing the ball. And that was, that was tough on them. It makes it second and 10 from the 39 of Jackson Christian. Shields is playing nothing but wide out now. Let's see if that's Mosley over there with him. We'll try to pick up. No, Mosley's playing the one high safety. Miller's got the football trying to run through the scene. Breaks a couple of tackles, and one man has got a chance. Now he gets help. But it'll be another first down. They're 11th unofficially, and it may be their 12th. because. But Miller with a great gain. And I could see that young man. I'm going to check his year in school. I could see uh, he's a sophomore. He'll be your running back in Shields' place next year. Shields at wide out. Ivy comes to this side. They give to Miller again. Now they blow the whistle. I may pass out. Interesting. Five yards. You probably can't hear all the comments, and I'm not going to disagree with a single comment that uh, here's one. Uh, somebody says I need to get a striped shirt and a whistle. Coach Joe, I need one too. And I used to officiate a long, long time ago. Here's the pitch to Miller. Miller trying to sweep wide. But you know what? That man, Goff, with some assists by Roberson and Gavin Walker, has pulled him down for a loss. It'll bring up third down. Ball will be moved back to the 28. This is four down territory, especially at this point in the game with 7.08 on the power, eight clock and counting. Shields goes far to the right. Ivy to the left. Miller in the backfield. You've got a wing back. We'll have to look and see who the wing back is. And you've got a tight end also that side of the fake. They're trying to go. Here we go. There's holding, got to be. And it's thrown out of bounds if it's not holding. There's a travesty of justice. And I can see holding being declined because it's third and 19. Uh, if I'm FACS, yeah, that's no worse than any other holding. This has been an interesting officiated game. But like I said, the players have played hard. The coaches of both teams have played chess, counter-moved each other, and done a good job. Third and 19 from the 28. 
right at quarterback with one man in the backfield. They fake, pull the guard in front of him, throw across the middle. They have a touchdown if they can make connection. Our coverage was good, but it left a little hole, but he couldn't thread the needle, and that will bring up fourth down. Four for 14 now. Baker on. Now this ought to be in Baker's range. He's a senior field goal kicker. He, like our man Zach Cisco, this is in Zach's range too. Add the 10 of the end zone to it. It's going to be placed at the 35. It'll be a 45-yard kick. We're going to play it safe on this one. It is up. It's going to be short, though. He kind of got under it. Mosley's got it right at about the two, and Mosley is running. Now, he'll get him then, but he has made a fine return as he keeps his legs churning and gets it back to the 35. It'll be Jackson Christian football at the 625 mark. Wright has the only touchdown so far. And it looks like we've got, well, FACS has come out here. Change, sometimes to change those links in them get a little lined up. But someday you'll see measurement with laser beams and stuff like that. Jackson Christian gets their play from here. Jackson Christian would like to stick one more on the board here. Not that they're trying to run the score. If you want to get that clock running, and the, they've got to have two more points to get the clock running. Slot right. Kelly in the backfield with two people. They send one in motion. The pitch, and this looks like Easton Jones cutting it up. Easton across the 40, the 45, and tackle down at about the 47. And Goss gets off of it. There's a flag, and... Uh, also, number nine got off of it, uh, Cothran, two fine defenders, people that have been noted to watch in Memphis. Now they're going to put one on going the other way. Evidently a five-yard face mask penalty. And another first down. The ball is on the 47-yard line of FACS. Wide side of the field to the left. Mason Vaughn is out there. Looks like, is that Easton Jones in the slot? It'll either be him or Blake Rowland. And now the whistles blow. And it is Blake Rowland out there who has speed to burn. Eight will be guarded by eight for the FACS team. And uh, gentlemen... The fans came here to watch the football game. If this is another one of those stinking inadvertent whistles. Holy cow. I know why they stopped it, but guys, get with the game. First and ten from the 47. Here's the running play, Easton Jones breaking tackles, drives across the 35, down to about the 34 and a 13 yard pickup and Easton Jones gets another Jackson Christian first down. And the young men from both teams, FACS and Jackson Christian, deserve a little better than what they've had with the administration of the game. You wanna be the best you can be, whether you player, coach, official, broadcaster, Coming into the game for Jackson Christian is number 57. That is Chandler Crowell. He's coming in, looks like at guard or maybe at tackle. We'll check and see which one. Pull the wing back down the line. We try again, and now here we go again with flags. It's either holding or face mask, but with this crew, there's no way to know. Block below the waist, no. Yes, okay. They've called the other so much, it's hard to tell what they're calling. Wow, against the defense. 
can be called, but it's hard. Sometimes when you're trying to submarine, get into the hole and clog a play up. Another penalty. And it will give Jackson Christian another first down. We'll get official stats after the contest. Blake Rowland is in. Deuce Lawrence is in. Mason Vaughn is in. Daniel Green still holding the tight end spot down. Play be signaled in. 31 seconds and counting still on the play clock. 428 on the power eight clock in this contest. A hard fought game between two well coached teams, two hustling teams. I know I heard earlier a clip from Coach Mitchell over from a Memphis station, and that he has changed the attitude and the culture, and uh, this is a fine young team. Two good teams coming into this contest undefeated. The snap, the give to Lawrence. Lawrence tries the right side, bounces out to the C-gap. Wider gets down to the 20 for a four-yard pickup, and there Miller makes the tackle. Second and six. Second. Things developing slowly. It looks like Dyer has gone far to the right. Blake Rowland still in there. Trips left. They give to Lawrence. He makes one man miss, but he'll have trouble getting back to the 20. A host of Crusaders there at the 308 mark. Gatlin there. Also, Carter Miller. There's a Bryston Miller and a Carter Miller. Third and seven. Ball on the 21. You know that Jackson Christian would love to pick up a first down here and keep that clock running. And that is James Dyer in there. And uh, did I hear the whistle again? Gentlemen, please be decisive. Blow the whistle on time. May be against Jackson Christian, but it doesn't matter. They offsides against Jackson Christian, but blow the whistle properly on time. No more inadvertent whistles either. So that'll make it third and 12 here. Vaughn in the slot. There to his left. Lance Rowland out here working one-on-one, -on -one, maybe some safety help with Cameron Williams. It's toss sweep to Lawrence. Lawrence gets one block, but he needed more than that. He'll get a couple of tough yards, and it'll bring up fourth down. They won't attempt the field goal because just in case it got blocked, it could be returned. Clock running because we stayed in bounds at the 117 mark or actually it's down to 113 and counting fourth and eight a possession down here time slowly running out we appreciate i like this one adam battershell said it looked like he was waving a b away john burr great job calling this game thank you joan Lotus, I agree with you. Jackson Christian is going to take a timeout with 45 seconds left. We're going to take a timeout of 30 seconds with Jackson Christian leading 35 to 7. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. 
We are back, and uh, Lotus, Joan, Adam, Charlotte Rowe, I agree with everything you have written. Kathy, same thing here, and uh, holy cow. The, uh, this makes you feel like you want to get in your car, use the gas, and go watch the film with Richard McWhorter. <laughs> anyway, 45 seconds left. Two men in the backfield with Austin Kelly. He sends Lance Rowland in motion who gets the pitch. He gets one block. He needed two, though. They're going to tackle him for a short gain, if any gain at all. Ball will go over on downs. The clock has stopped at 36.8 seconds. And for those of you that are old-time Boston Celtic fans, Lotus is waving. Um, Larry Craig, thank you. I appreciate it. The players played good on both teams. The coaches coached hard. I tried to do a good job, and that's where the good job stops. Uh, 36.8 seconds. Let's see if we get – I see uh, Carlos Roberson coming in. Blake Rowland's still out there. Mason Vaughn will play safety. They will go too deep. Let's see if they change quarterbacks. They may have. Miller is in the running back spot, and I see a new man run on for – them and they're going to hand the ball off. Miller's going to run, but I'm going to tell you what I think they're going to call it down. But that looked like Caleb Newsom shot out of a cannon into that backfield. Wow, boy, I'm telling you what, he is gain, he was quick. He wanted to run that touchdown a while ago, and uh, we got the penalty that backed him up. We had to, The clock may run out before there's another play call because FACS is far away from the football. They are leaving the field. And this is in the scorebook. Jackson Christian goes to 7-0. and oh. FACS, a very good team, falls to 5-1, and one, but they are going to be a factor. Two teams that played hard. There will be a lot of good sportsmanship. Two sets of coaches that coached hard. And we will leave it at that. Good job by the players and the coaches and the fans. We're going to take a timeout. And when we come back, we'll have more about this contest. And then later in the post-game show, we'll have Greg Armour stats. But let's take that timeout on Jackson Christian Facebook and Worthy Road Studios. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass, 
in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. We are back. Jackson Christian wins this region contest 35-7 and advances on to a 7-0 and record. FACS falls to 5-1, and but they've got a good ball club. Well coached. Both teams did. Jackson Christian will have the week off next week. There will be no Eagle show at Hub City Deli. And our next opponent will be on October 13th, Lake County High School with all their speed. And they had a young man gain 400 yards in a game this year. They will be the opponent, and then we will finish this regular season on the road at Harding Academy on the 20th of October and the 26th over at Trinity Christian Academy. USJ has been beaten tonight by North Point 21-10. Have no score on the Trinity game with Harding Academy, but I can see no reason that Trinity wouldn't win uh, that contest uh, Harding's only two victories have been over teams that haven't won a game yet this year. And uh, TCA does have a fine team with their wide out and their running back, uh, Waller, and then, of course, Lake Lakai Thompson, the running back. Uh, we'll have Greg in a few moments with the stats, but Mosley scored all the touchdowns. Jack uh, Collins had one call back. And we're still trying to figure out why it was called back. The down wasn't changed. Nothing was changed. They just ran the play. If it was another inadvertent whistle, then something needs to be done. While we're waiting for Greg, because there's a lot of stats to figure, Stephanie Janda and Ashley work great as a team. They should. That's mother and daughter. But they do a good job. And uh, we, they direct. They do replays. Our camera work tonight was great. Jack Young and... Uh, Sideline camera by Cricket. What a great job these people did. Um, you know, you can't, you can't knock that. Our executive producer is Paul Schultze. And um, while we're waiting, uh, every one of you from uh, trying to pick up from Joan with Way to Go Eagles and Lotus, great comments tonight. And you're right, great job by the coaches. Uh, Jalen did a good job. Larry Craig, you're right to say congratulations to the Eagles. And, again, thank you for your nice comment and worthy road. And, uh, Dylan, uh, what was the score? It was 35-7. And, uh, of course, our scoreboard is down. The scoreboard has been erased. Long trip back to FACS. But, FACS fans, you need to pat your young men on the back. They played hard. 
They were well coached. The Jackson Christian young men played hard. They were well coached. Other parts of the game, it, it made it tough for both the teams to play a good game, but they did. Fail was in great shape. And some very interesting calls aided the situation here. We're going to take one more one-minute timeout, and hopefully we can get Greg over here for a final wrap-up because you need to hear his official stats. Let's take that one-minute timeout. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. We are back with an interesting game and some interesting calls, but the final verdict was 35-7. Jackson Christian, a winner tonight. And here is the man with the plan, Greg Armour. Wait a minute, Greg, let me turn this up a little higher. There we go. All right, Joe, for Jackson Christian, we had 20 first downs. In the passing department, Austin Kelly attempted 22, completed 15 for 299 yards and five TDs. He had two interceptions. Uh, we watched 36 times for 185 yards. Deuce Lawrence had 22 for 121. Jalen had one for nine. Easton had eight for 39. Uh, Jack Collins had one for five. Blake Rowland had one for 13, and Trent Carrier had one for six. We had nine penalties for 85 yards, and we only punted once. Uh, Joe, if you'll say a few words, and give me a second. Uh, yeah, uh, a great effort there, and Mosley did score all the touchdowns, and we scored, uh, if I can get my, my stat sheet back up here, it, it looks like a Chinese fire drill. Uh, that's an old expression. And uh, Mosley scored in the first quarter, the second twice, in the third twice, and once in the fourth. And that last one was that 25-yard pass play. And uh, the game, we owned the second half, Greg. Yes, we did. And uh, good job. And those first downs, 20 first downs. I love that. Austin had a good night. Deuce ran well. But you know what? what when Easton Jones had to run it, he ran hard. Uh, some big catches by Daniel Green. Also, Carrier had that 148-yard one. Jack Collins had two big catches for us. Yeah, Jack Collins had two big catches. And, of course, their quarterback looked really good. You know, they did not go back to the play with Hartoonian, their tight end, who caught two balls for first downs. They may have attempted it one time, and that's where they were headed, but our pass rush actually picked up as the game wore on. And we've had a lot of great uh, – comments here and uh, from the Jackson Christian crowd remind everybody again no Hub City Deli this uh, Tuesday night as kids are out of school we won't come back till we play Lake County tomorrow listen from 9 to 11 101.5 Saturday sports roundup Bill Hamilton will probably have some insights from things that happened on the field and I've got some from up here and here's Greg again with the rest of the stats I'm sorry guys I just missed Added something, so I had to re-add it. Uh, let, let's get the receiving. Jalen Mosley had nine receptions for 233 yards. Daniel Green and five touchdowns. Uh, Daniel Green had two catches for 31. Jack Collins had two for 42. Easton Jones had one for five. Like I said, in the rushing department, Deuce had 22 rushes for 134 yards. We had nine penalties for 35 yards, and we only punted once. All right, let's get to fit. And let me ma mention Daniel Green committed to UTC. I said that in the pregame show and forgot to mention it again. Yes, he did. Let's hit the FACS. They had seven first downs in the passing department. He attempt, uh, attempted 16 passes, completed five for 33 yards. And let me say this, in the first half they had 49 yards and they only completed one pass 
in the second half, and it was for a negative 16. Well, absolutely, and that was a ferocious pass rush. In the rushing department, they rushed 22 times for 65 yards. Number one had 12 carries for 42, and number 24 had seven for 30. They punted the ball six times for an average of about 28 yards. They had 14 penalties for 107 yards. And they attempted one field goal of 45 yards. It was not good. And Jalen Mosey turned it 30 yards. He sure did. Good return. And a lot of safety men wouldn't have the presence to return that. You can return something yeah. like that and, and get a touchdown out of it if you can. You know, if he could have gotten one block and kept it to the FACS sideline, he might have gone all the way. I got to make calls for two touchdowns that they say a penalty may have stopped, but uh, it was an exciting con I thought the FACS kids played well, and they were well coached tonight. Um, our kids also were well coached and played hard and executed. They they made the, you know, the definition of discipline. They did what they had to do when they had to do it tonight, Greg. They sure did. Greg, any other words of wisdom for our audience out there? Well, we had 384 total yards of offense to their 98. And like you said, the uh, their no, uh, number one uh, running back, he's been averaging over 100 yards a game. Oh, Lord, yeah. I think he was averaging 158 yards a game in Memphis stats. And uh, I told people the FACS was better. You know, everybody has gone off the pass. No, uh, Coach Mitchell and his staff has revamped that culture. But our kids came out and executed, too. They sure did. And, uh, I mean, that's all you can say about it. You had two fine football teams playing tonight. One has to win. And right now we have the lead in the district. But I would say TCA beat Harding Academy. We did not get a score on yeah. it. Uh, and they will still be undefeated. It could all come down to that uh, last game. We know our defense stepped up in the second half, and that we talked about that earlier at oh. halftime, that our defense was going to have to – uh, step, step up. Uh, they held them to only 15 yards. Oh, in we, it looked half. like we were shot out of a cannon on defense. People, we got penetration. And, and you know, their guards for FACS pull well. They could not get the seam in the second half. You know, Caleb Newsom just, I mean, he had two big tackles behind the line of scrimmage. One yeah. of them he got called yeah. for a penalty, I think. But, uh, you know. Well, Big Cedric was all over Cedric the field. Cedric was all over the field. And Caleb's going to play Gavin. somewhere next year on Saturdays. Yes, he is. And so are some other kids on this team. And Greg, it's a fun team to watch. It is, it is, Joe. And uh, Chuck, Chuck Morris says, Greg Armour is an MVP as well. I like that. That is good. And uh, Dina Evans says, hey, Sam. Greg, your final comments before we wrap this thing up. Well, we're just uh, going to go into fall break uh, and get a few people bumps and bruises healthy and and get ready for the next game on the 13th of October. I think it's uh, Lake little, County. Lake County here. They bring in a kid that gained over 400 yards rushing one night. But, again, we have to evaluate the competition. We have to give our defense some credit. Yes. But let's all be humble, keep the perspective, support the coaches and the, and the players, and both schools. FACS fans, tell your kids they did good when they came home. They may have lost, but they played hard. Jackson Christian fans are already showing some appreciation. But let's meet the young men and say something nice to them. But you know what? How about saying something nice to the coaches? That's always a good thing. And, uh, Greg, I guess we'll leave it at that. And, Steph, if you'll get our fine crew back up there, I'm going to give them one more credit. We had some great field shots, too, tonight, besides our great main camera shots. Look at there at all those good people. You know what we need to do is add Greg the next time we're at home <laughs> to this. But Stephanie Janda directed Ashley Janda with replay. Cameras, Jack Young and Cricket. Executive producer, the old pro himself, Paul Schultz. And the old coach himself, Coach Joe Holloway, called this one. This is a copyright broadcast. And some of you fans that try to use it illegally, this is the legal thing that says you can't do it any rebroadcast retransmission or further use of this contest without the express and note the word express written consent of worthy road studios is prohibited for the crew for greg armor for the jackson christian eagles 
Uh, we're going to say thanks for your time this time till next time. Good night, all. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.